name is Michael Fingal of the New York Times. I think after three years you can call me Mike. You gonna give yourself a day off now? I'm actually going into the office. Mike Finkel is a young, very successful writer for the New York Times. Mike is an extraordinary man, is an extraordinary man. He's a man who got on a Haitian boat full of refugees for eight days without real risk to his life to get the story. That made the front cover of the Times, got his career going. That's nine covers in three years. Ten, but who's counting? He kind of has a major fall from grace. Is this or is this not Yusuf Malé? You said write it up. I said write it up, not make it up. Almost immediately after we meet him, we come to realize that he had fabricated some out of this one particular story. You have a great future ahead of you, Mike, but not here. What I did was take a bunch of uh, interviews uh, from different boys and combine them into one person. I gave them, I gave them the name of a, of a real person I interviewed. Is it his master from the cocoa plantation that's doing the beatings? Uh, yes. And it's, it's his parents who are dead. Yes, I think so. You are looking to take risks and push the limits, and you do it by gambling, I suppose. And he lost. He's very ambitious, and that desire for success at that point in his life means that he's not checking himself and he's not being totally honest with himself. This article was about saving young people's lives. I did the best with what I had. You lied. I think in situations where you're trying to resurrect yourself, you believe that there's possibility in anything. Tanya, it's Mike. Hi, Ed, it's Mike Finkel. Finkel. It's been a long time. I have this thing I've been working up on. I have this great idea. Office. It's a snowboarding. None of my other work has any suspicion. Don't make me beg here. I understand. When he's fired, you feel the air go out of him. He feels like he's failed. He's, he's made a colossal mistake. Be nice to have you back for a while. What I really wanted was somebody who I felt the audience would care about. And I think what Jonah does superbly is make very unattractive characters sympathetic. Hello? Hi, I'm a reporter with The Oregonian. I wanted to get your side on the Look. Christian Longo story. Who? He murdered his entire family. Why are you telling me this? Because when they apprehended him, he said he was Mike Finkel of the New York Times. Finkel was at his bottom. He was not going to get another job in journalism. And this strange thing fell into his lap. Did he say anything at all about why he claimed to be me? <laughs> I hoped you might be able to tell me that. I couldn't not turn over every stone. Mike is using Longo as much as Longo is using him. Mike's using Longo to get his career back. Don't you see this as a second chance? One man sort of ensnaring another man's soul. You had a choice of so many stories to tell and you chose his. One moment he thinks that he can trust him and then that changes. I think that's what keeps him so intoxicated by this man is that he can't know him. Tell me something real. He just loses sight of his own honesty. You will never ever escape what you are. My whole reputation's on the line. Mike, don't give up on me.